Hello internet world, welcome to a new video on the Geekanoids channel. Over the past few weeks I've been sharing with you some technology that could certainly help you during these winter months. And indeed today I've got a really cool product from Cloudic. Uh, this is their Cloudic electric heater. And from my research, uh, from the sort of uh, components inside here, it's got like a ceramic element inside and also some other really nice features in here as well and I thought it was uh, worthwhile sharing with you in a video purely because it's getting very cold uh, this gives you some instant heat also a really nice safety feature and it's useful in the summer as well now before I talk to you a little bit more about this product I want to say a big hello to everyone tuning in live we have got Sumyu, Nath and Aaron both in the live chat thank you very much for tuning in guys I really do appreciate it if you're watching this after the live broadcast then uh, please do leave the regular comments uh, in the comment section below. Now I will take some questions and um, uh, more interaction with you a little bit later on during this broadcast. Before I do, I want to just cover off the, the Cloudic electric heater. So this is the box. I think it's a really nice box actually, as boxes go. It lists off all the features. We've got quick heat, wide angle, uh, also an auto off function, no naked flames in this, uh, a temperature fuse as well, overheat protection, and uh, what's this last one? Flame resistance. Not sure on that one, but still, it's good that it has got flame resistance. Now, product box out of the way, let's have a look at the actual heater itself. And you might think this really isn't tech, but I think this is a, just a really nice product to cover when we're coming into the winter months. It's getting very, very cold. Uh, I own, and I'm sure Cloudic won't mind me mentioning this, but I own one of the Dyson heaters. And the Dyson heaters is this sort of oscillating fan uh, with, with no blades, basically. And this one, although not quite up to the size and standard of the Dyson for the price, this is very, very effective. I tested this out for quite a few hours now, and I'm really impressed with the amount of heat that this actually throws out. So we've got a very compact unit. Worth noting is on the bottom, there's this little tiny sort of tab. It feels like a, a button. This is the anti-tip, not anti-tip, this is the tip safety feature, the tip over feature. So this pushes in when you've got this on the floor, if you were to trip over the heater or knock it over and it tips over then this switch comes out and it automatically turns off the heater very very good safety feature in fact just worth mentioning uh, in one of the rooms I've got very thick carpets and this was actually coming down into the carpet so it wouldn't work on a very soft thick pile carpet so if you have got soft carpets with very thick piles on them you might have to stand this on something for it to work but on regular carpets uh, and regular obviously hard floors absolutely fine uh, it's also got this oscillating function which I'll show you in a short while it's got a nice little carry handle on the back so you can pick it up it's not very heavy but nice that it's got a carry handle to make things easier we've got the main power on off switch on the back we've got quite a short power cable this is probably my only thing I would say about this is I wish the power cable was a little bit longer it's about a meter and a half I wish it was sort of two and a half three meters but that's just me it's not a deal breaker just wish the power cable was a little bit longer terminated in a UK three pin plug and then across the top we've got touch sensitive controls for the buttons so we've got one that says swing just here which is going to turn on and off the oscillating function we've got a mode button which switches between high and low heat and also cool so you can use this in the summer and then we've got the main power on off button on the top so a safety switch on the back for the the mains and also power on off button on the top so let's get this turned on i've got a plug socket just down here off camera all prepared so we're going to plug this in and then we're going to turn on on the back and then we're going to tap the on off button there we go we got a little sort of a uh, red oh you can't quite see it let's turn this on again got to hold in that safety switch we've got a little sort of glowing red light at the bottom which sort of indicates that it's on i'm holding this switch in at the bottom at the moment and we've got it on heat so it's really already it's such a quick heat up 
uh, on this one we've already got really nice warm heat coming out uh, if I tap the mode button then it goes into like a low power mode so the fan is a lot quieter still a nice amount of heat coming out but it's not projecting it as far into the room and then we tap this again and the light changes to blue you can see here so it's no longer heating it's now in the cool mode and this is pushing out cool air it takes a little bit of a while for the element to cool down so it's still a little bit warm but you can feel it going cool now so now it's cool air and then we've got the oscillate function so the base is staying still in my hand and you can see the whole unit is rotating round and then it rotates back round the other way there's even cool air being pushed out the back which is very very good and then of course cool air at the front and you can use the oscillating function whilst you're in the heat mode so now we've turned it back to heating and it's pushing out hot air now imagine I've got the switch pushed in at the bottom so if this was on a hard floor and then all of a sudden it tipped over so it's fallen over the switch has come out and everything has turned off even if you push that switch back in it's not going to come back on you have to actually turn it back on again so let's pop this back on the desk here you see you can see it on the desk uh, it's turned off at the moment let's just turn it back on so you can definitely hear that you're probably hearing that being picked up on the mic but that is very very effective heating and super quick already you know within five ten seconds we're getting nice warm air coming out very very cool I'm really really impressed and this is why I wanted to share this with you it's not high tech it's not what I normally cover on the channel but it was worthy of me sharing this with you because it's so cost effective to get some instant heat this winter and I've left links down in the video description to where you can pick this up for yourself of course so please do check the links out let's uh, just turn that off there we go so if you want to pick up one of the cloudic heaters for yourself do check out the links in the video description and before I finish up this video let's have a look inside the live chat we've got Sumu saying he's gonna get his iPad tonight awesome I remember I think you tweeted or commented on the video uh, that you're having one picked up for you absolutely amazing new iPad Pro I'm sure you'll thoroughly enjoy it and congratulations on your new iPad and also Sumu asking did I get my new BMW if you watch a couple of videos back I did at the weekend a vlogmas video uh, with the uh, DJI Osmo Pocket the little sort of mini camera on a gimbal uh, if you watch that video uh, on the channel then you will catch a glimpse of the car that you're referring to so in answer to the question yes I did and it appears in the uh, vlogmas video for 2018 so that is it for this particular video I can highly recommend this It's a great little product please do use those links down below to pick up one for yourself and get warm this winter have a fantastic week ahead and I'll see you in another video very soon